Today I am talking about an absolute classic country boot. This is the Tricker Stowe. This model is their Acorn Leather, uh, which is uh, specific to Trickers. There's some information known, but they keep a lot of it secret where it's tanned, how it's tanned. What uh, I do know is that it's a combination tan calfskin. There are some rumors that uh, it's veg tan first and then chrome tan, where often with combination tan leathers it's chrome tan first and then veg tanned. Uh, but again, can't confirm that, but I can see how that may be true just based on sort of how sturdy and rigid the leather has been through the break in process, uh, which has actually been quite a tough process, but after about four or five full days of wear, I'm starting to see the leather soften up, the boots starting to flex. Um, but it's a very nice leather. It's more in the yellow sort of realm in terms of uh, colorway, almost like a burnt yellow or mustard kind of color, but again, very unique to uh, Trickers. A lot of people recognize this boot right away just based on the color. Uh, and you can see all the nice brogue details on here. Really well done, nice and even, nice clean perforations. Um, really nice pinking here and where it lines up on the quarter, it's really well done. Uh, something I like here in the medallion is how the perforations are just a little bit larger than you'll see in some of the areas and I think it really helps it stand out, it looks great. It is a barber welt which is a type of Goodyear welt similar to a storm welt in that you can see it come up on the upper there um, but it doesn't go up quite as high as you would see on uh, some of the storm welts. It's on a brown day night outsole which I really like. For me I find it provides good overall grip. Um, yeah it gives it a nice silhouette. There are some really nice laces on here. Um, different than any other laces that I've had in any of my boots. They're really nice. Um, they did come undone the first couple days. It was tough to keep them done up, but then now that hasn't been an issue. It is fully leather lined, which makes it nice and soft on the ankles. Leather insole. Uh, there's also a leather midsole, which I don't think I mentioned, with cork filler and a wood shank. Um, and although there is a wood shank, I don't find there to be a lot of arch support. Just something to note there. There is a heel to arch cushion. Um, but it did compress quickly and it is nice and firm. So if you like a firm interior, then I wouldn't worry about that heel to arch cushion. Uh, so overall, it's just an incredibly well-made boot. I can see why these have become sort of, you know, the quintessential country boot. I'm just so impressed with the overall construction uh, and how a company that's making on, on that large of a scale is able to have such high standards for quality control. So I have admired these from afar for so long and now seeing them up close in person, wearing them, I, I'm just yeah completely impressed. I can't say enough good things about them. In terms of fit, um, they described the 4497 last as a generous last and I'm an E double E so I thought okay if it's a generous last I'll go true to size um, so this is in UK sizing so one size down from my US Brannock and at some point I'd be curious to try a half size down because I still find in the width it's not as generous that I had as I had imagined um, but where I find it to be generous is in here, sort of in the throat, in the instep area. Um, I have no issues in there. I do have a high instep and that can be a problem area, but definitely not in here. Width-wise, it is quite snug for me. Um, so again, yeah, I'd be curious to try half size down, but lengthwise, true to size is great. And I've heard from people that have low volume feet that have even gone one and a half down from US, which I think might be a little bit too uh, short in length, but if your typical volume one size down from a US Brannock I think is going to work out perfectly. Um, like for me when I have these laced up there's still a lot of room that if I were lower volume I could tighten them up a little bit. So overall an incredible boot, great quality control, very nice sturdy leather, um, tough break in but I'm getting there and I would highly recommend the Tricker Stow for sure. Thanks so much for watching.